that anywhere half a cup what's a half cup of butter that's a whole stick and you want it room temp please don't forget that it's supposed to be room temp next is going to be your half a cup of oil just pour that right in there then next is your one and a half cup of sugar so just pour that right up in there too bam and then tablespoon tablespoon with the beef of vanilla you like that, I like that, I like that. Okay, I know it's been a minute. I know it's been a minute, but y'all should already know what I'm about to say next. You see all the ingredients in the bowl? So what we gonna do? What we gonna do? Mix it up. Ooh. I'm gonna say that with y'all. So let's get right to it. As you can see, it is light and fluffy. I mix it up for at least about two or three minutes. Now, don't hold back on it because it's going to change the color and the texture. And once you see that, then that's when you're good to go. So next one I do, you need four large eggs. And what you're going to do is going to go one by one. Mix it in really good, one by one. And after you get all four in, that's when you want to go and get your dry ingredients back. So. But you don't want the whole thing. Just half of it right now. Make sure it's well combined. Make sure your dry ingredients are well combined. And then put half in there. Mix that in there really well. And then we're going to stop that dry ingredients for a second. And we're going to add our milk, which is one and four cup of milk. Pour that in slowly. Get that nice mixture in there. And then add on the rest of your dry ingredients. And then once you get that good mixture, then you're gonna put it in the pans. Now you need three nine inch pans. Make sure you get them buttered up pretty good. And if you want, you put the parchment paper at the bottom. It's totally up to you. And then you're gonna put it in the oven for at least about mm, 18, 20 minutes maybe. And then it should come out great. So we're just gonna go ahead and get that going. All right, you guys, so what I went ahead and did after I put the cakes in the oven, I chopped up my strawberries. As you can see here, you need about a pound of strawberries. Uh, save a little bit to put on top of your cake. I've saved about like five, if that's what you want to do. And as you can see, I just cut off the stems and I just slice them up. And what you're going to do now is pour about, about like three tablespoons of sugar on top. Get that all over the strawberries. Make sure it's nice and good. Now you want to keep that in there for about 
mm, an hour, maybe two, depending on how much time you got. Go ahead, you want it to get in there as long as possible so it can be so good when you bite into it. So I'll just put that in the fridge and then I'm going to show you how to make the whipped cream. Whip it, whip it, whip it. Oh, sorry. I got a little ahead of myself. I'll be back. Hey, you guys. So with all this foolishness that's going on right now, I just like me, I honestly almost forgot that Easter is coming up. So I just did a little decoration real quick, and I want to show you something so cute that you can make with your little ones while you're in quarantine. Oh, uh, I'm so sick of that word, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you. I already made the cupcakes. You can just get a cupcake box and make it, or if you want to do it from scratch, perfectly fine with me. I have no problem with it. So, what I went ahead and did as well is I just went ahead and got my piping bag ready. This is a number 366 leaf tip that I just, you can just get from Walmart for like a couple of bucks. And I just went ahead and filled it up so I could teach you guys and show you how to make the grass and it's gonna look cute at the end I'm just gonna show you it's gonna be like a cute little Easter basket it's so cute and then what I also did is I cut out a uh, licorice or even Twizzlers Walmart as well and you, that's gonna be the little handle for the baskets so I'm just gonna show you and as you can see here are my little eggs that we're gonna put on top of the basket I just want to show you this so badly this is so freaking cute so you want to go ahead and get your piping and go ahead and just slightly you don't even have to do it that much just slightly do this ba, 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 ba. and you're gonna go all the way around make your grass ba, 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 ba. oh no I'm making like this look don't judge me I feel it I'm making my little you know I'm making my little music you know I like doing that so you see I'm sorry I'm excited so then you're gonna get the I got these little egg you just gonna put them there as many as you like well no not as many as you like I don't think you know it's gonna be that many so I put like three maybe four you see the little eggs oh my gosh it's so cute we're almost done so the licorice just go ahead and stick that right in the cupcake. Look! Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. Like, I just, this is so cute, you guys. You gotta make sure you try this at home. I just wanna give you a little, little Easter edition that you can make at home with your kids. Please, if you do this, send me pictures. I want them so I can post them on my page. That's all I wanted to show you today. Happy Easter! Have completely cooled off, so that means it's time to make the whipping cream and decorate. So, what I have here in the bowl already is our two and a half cup of heavy uh, whipping cream. And then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your cup and a fourth of powdered sugar, and you add two teaspoons of vanilla. And then you already know what to do mix it up. So, that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and decorate my cake, and I'm gonna show you the final result. Stay tuned. Alright you guys, as you can see I've completed the masterpiece. Don't forget you gotta put it on high for the whipping cream. I failed to mention that. Whip it up real, really, really, really good and you until you get that texture. But look at the final result. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think I'm about to keep this for myself. I'm about to keep this for myself. Look at it. It's so good. Ooh. Okay, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm just excited. This looks so freaking good. Like, like look at it. But I just want to say thank you for tuning in to another episode of Sweet Temptations. My name is Damo. I will see you guys next week. Peace.